back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with my cousin Taylor. Hi, my name is Taylor. <laughs> I'm here with my cousin Taylor. And, Hi. and we're gonna be doing um, a step-by-step -step skincare routine. We both love skincare, but we both have completely different skincare tastes. So yeah, this is my first time seeing her in like nine months. We also have some questions that you guys ask from Instagram and YouTube. So you guys can get to know us better. Cause this is your first time meeting Taylor. She is like the silliest, most hilarious person I've ever met. So it's gonna be fun. And also, while we're rearranging the setup, it is currently eight o'clock and I have school tomorrow, it's Sunday, and I'm supposed to be getting a shower right now, but it's okay. Cause one of my priorities ever straight. So I'm gonna cleanse my face by putting cleansing oil wipes so it can be easier to put on my stuff so I won't have a dirty face. So first question is easy. How old is Taylor? Um, I'm 10 years old and I'm turning 11 this year in August. When is your birthday? My, <laughs> my birthday is August 8th. August 8th, 2000? Oh, 12. <laughs> what is your Instagram? Um, I don't know why. <laughs> Wait, I'll see. put it on the screen right here. <laughs> what is your TikTok? It's the same thing, but not two Y, just a regular one Y. Um, what is your favorite memory with London? My favorite memory with London is when probably when we went to what's that place called where we we're like Carco Barrel or something like that. Carco Barrel, yeah. Yeah. That's one of my favorite memories because I wasn't able to get anything from there, but she bought something for me and it really made me happy because I was very sad. Wow, I almost forgot about that. Oh, what are you doing now? Oh, so I just applied my, I don't know how to pronounce the name, hydrating serum. What's your favorite food? Favorite food? Macaroni. What's your favorite song? Favorite song? I don't really have a favorite song, but like I have a favorite album. It's Rod Away. It's Beautiful Mind, the album. And is your favorite artist Rod right Away? No, my favorite artist is Tusi. Okay. Um, do you ever want to become a YouTuber? Um, yeah. Right now, London is helping me develop my channel. So I have like a banner. Um, my profile, my descriptions. I'm actually just working on like editing and like my how I wanna my intros, outros, and all that other stuff. Yes, I can't wait. When she makes her YouTube channel, I will post it and make sure you go subscribe to her. Do you have a boyfriend? No. <laughs> How's school? School is great. I'm almost a sixth grader. I'm gonna be in middle school. I have an organized locker. Someone said you guys are really pretty. Thank, Thank you. you. So now I'm gonna do my creamy jelly cleanser. It's the same brand as this. What is your favorite brand? Speaking of skincare brand. My favorite brand probably Sol de Janeiro. What about um, brand of all time? Like shoes? Yeah, it could be Probably anything. Nike. Oh, what's your favorite Netflix show? I don't really have a favorite Netflix show, but the one I recently watched and it was really good was Jenny and Georgia. So Ooh, yeah, I watched that too. Yeah, I really like season two. Yes. I like Jenny and Georgia, um, but Jenny is kind of getting on my nerves. Yeah. Because she made a lot of mistakes, but also she was a little bit ungrateful. But her mom, like, she was a good mom. This is gonna be my last step for right now. <laughs> <laughs> just really my face. What is your favorite get ready with me TikToker? I don't know, it just be some random teenage girls on TikTok just like doing their skincare routine. And I started doing my skin routine because people's face was just getting better and better. And my face was really breaking out in fourth grade, so. Now that I have a skincare routine, my face is getting better. So those are all the questions for Taylor. And now you can ask me questions while I get started with mine. Um, so my first step is gonna also be 
the cleansing wipes. Okay, so the first question is, how old are y'all? I am 12 years old. And, and I'm 10. I'm turning 13, um, I'm turning 13 November 16th. Oh my god, my best friend commented. Really? Yeah. Um, how does it feel having a YouTube channel? Um, so I love having a YouTube channel and it's something I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Mostly everything is positive about having a YouTube channel. I love creating content, seeking ideas. It may get overwhelming sometimes because I also have school, family stuff, stuff I have to do outside of YouTube, but it's something I definitely want to do for a really long time. Um, I may use the, how do you pronounce this brand? Um, so this is step four of... <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me try to... Yo, <laughs> Bioma. Bioma. Okay. So I'm gonna use the Bioma moisturizing gel cream. Um, this is <laughs> this is step four. I don't know why they gave us step four and not step one, which is cleanse. But anyways, who is your favorite actress? Um, probably. Wait, I have a favorite. Probably Madison Bailey. Or um. Claire Holt. I don't know, I have a lot of favorites, like um, Nina Dobrev, um, Claire Holt, um, Madeline Klein, I like her. And yeah. What's your goal for YouTube? My goal is definitely to take my YouTube places. I wanna definitely be more consistent and dedicated, posting more and better content and just Turn it up this year. How have you been and where have you been? I have been. <laughs> <laughs> so where have I been? I've been at home and at school. Um, I think I see the kids at school more than I see my own mother. My schedule is ridiculous. If I'm not at school, I'm getting ready for bed or doing homework. How have I been? I've been pretty good. Except, like I mentioned in my last video, I gave you guys a little um, mental health checkup update. I mean, I've been feeling like I'm um, not myself sometimes, which affects me because at school, I'm around other kids and I have to project who I am, which I have been finding difficult. So I'll say I've been doing okay. Okay, so what's your next step? Okay, so after that, um, so I have a bunch of lip products, but these are some of them. I have this Hello Kitty Macro Lip Balm. It is icing on the cake. It smells amazing. Um, I have my Laneige um, Lip Sleeping Mask and my Dior Lip Oil. It's running out. Oh, and I also have my Dragon Fruit uh, Peach. I'm gonna put on this one, because this is my newest one. It's Milani Fruit Fetish Dragon Fruit Peach Lip Balm. So we have one more question for you. Um, Who's older? Me. Yeah, so we're basically, we're two years apart. Okay, so that's it for you. It smells so good, it's more than... Mmm, are you gonna do lip care? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do and do it together now. Yes. Okay. And oh, you can go to to you too. Okay. Okay. What grade is Taylor in? Um, I'm in fifth grade. Per last day of elementary. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> last year of elementary school. In London, I'm about to go into sixth grade. Do you have any tips for me? Oh my gosh, I need to answer this question because everybody has been asking for middle school tips um, since I'm over halfway into sixth grade now. I just wanna say for my sixth grade fellas or ladies, um, <laughs> so my, just a little um, personal experience, my, um, my, um, my, um, <laughs> my beginning, the beginning of my sixth grade year was amazing. 
um but like the peak of my year which was like december january i absolutely hated school like i really i was about to transfer but i didn't because i'm not in control of like my schedule and the people that i meet the how the people act at school but what i do have control over is my mindset like thinking positive at school because there are some fun times i just have to um create those fun times but i haven't liked the school lately but back to you guys think positive oh wait well before i say that i've been seeing a lot of like sixth grade tips um on tiktok and stuff and they be saying like don't get a boyfriend or <laughs> just be yourself and don't try too hard don't stink <laughs> Which sometimes they're true, but I'm gonna give you guys some real sixth grade tips. Be yourself. For some reason, I'm still learning that is to be myself and to not adjust to the people around you. Don't dumb yourself down to, to fit in with other people. Don't act older to fit in with other people. Just be yourself because being yourself will attract other people that are like you. If you change to be like someone else, to be their friend, then you guys are gonna eventually clash because that's not who you really are. Definitely be respectful to staff, be respectful to your classmates. Um, it's not really much to it. Don't overthink, don't overthink the academics, don't overthink the people you meet. Finish your homework, do your homework. Even if it's not for a grade, still complete it. Don't, I'd say try, know when to get your work done and know when to play with friends because I've seen some people that just goof off at the wrong times and then be complaining when they fail in the class. So no, no one to chill, no one to finish your work, no one is time to be silly and just go with the flow. Whatever happens, happens. Everything happens for a reason. You're gonna meet people. You're gonna, um, I just thought about Connor when you said You're going to <laughs> let everything flow. Um, if you guys have any other personal questions for me, then ask and I'll answer them because I can't really think of anything right now. Yeah, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Okay, so now fun. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use some of this on my face too. I'm gonna use the star thing. Yes. Oh yeah, we have these, um, exfoliators and you like go like that and like it gets in your pores. I need this. I'm gonna keep this on your hand. Or which one you want? I'll just use this one. Okay. Right, now that my cleanser has set, just to let you guys know, I don't actually use the um, Bioma um, moisturizing gel cream. <laughs> I use the Cetaphil daily facial cleanser for sensitive skin, but I don't have it. So I'm gonna be using Taylor's Moisturizing Gel clean Cream. Oh my God, why do I keep saying cream? <laughs> Wait, what's this for? That is lash primer, but it shows up white. People put that on and they put mascara on after. Uh, um, and I'm gonna just put some sunscreen on. Okay, so the next question we have together is, this is the un Unseen sunscreen by Super Goo. Um, so somebody asked London, can you do a what's on my phone video because I need inspiration. Yes. I just redid my um phone. I'll do a what's on my iPad too. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is put on this lip sleeping mask because why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Okay, um, so the next question is on a scale of 1 to 10, how will you rate each other? You can go first. 10. I will rate London a 10 because she is um, a grade older than me, I mean higher than me. So when she's in 6th grade and she says all this um, positive stuff, like when I'm in sixth grade, I can like reflect from that mm -hmm. and like actually listen and stuff from that. And then she'll give me tips on and on and on. And like, yeah. After I do my face stuff, I go in with the spoolie to just brush out my eyebrows and my eyelashes. 
But I give Taylor a 10 because she's funny and every time I see her, I, I laugh. Like, she never misses with our jokes. We, we relate to each other a lot. We just, like, whenever we visit each other, we don't have to, like, warm up to each other. Maybe, like, the first couple minutes, we just sit in silence. <laughs> but yes. we just click automatically. The time that I saw her, it was like, it hadn't hit me yet that I saw London for, like, <laughs> a while. But then, like, after a while, we kept talking and stuff. And, like, every day that we wake up, we see each other's faces. And then for, like, probably five or not even five, like, two minutes, we, we just, like, walk around, not say anything to each other. But then, like, we'll start talking to each other. And then it will just, like, we'll keep talking from on and on and on. Yeah. So you can use this to um see better because that's far away. Okay, so are you welcome to have online friends? Um, I don't think so because let me tell you guys a little secret. Oh, and I know there's a question on there like, what's the biggest lie you ever told? What, this is different? Um, when I was like, ooh, this eyebrow looks good. <laughs> um, when I was like seven, I've been playing Roblox since 2017. Add me even though I don't really play. Oh, next step is gonna be curling my eyelashes. Usually, I just go like this without curling them, but when I feel like it, I just slightly curl them. Like that. Usually for me, I'm gonna put on this Soda Janeiro um, Hair and Body Fragrance Mist, the 71, and London has the 62. Yeah. I should have got the 71 though, cause that one smells like it's amazing. amazing. Oh my god. Oh, um, when I was seven, I've been playing Roblox since I was seven, and I was, I had access to the chat. There was this guy on Roblox that had a really cute avatar. I think I just fell for the looks, and <laughs> he had a friend, and it was a girl. She was chatting me, and I, you know, I was seven, so I was like, oh my god, can we be sisters? <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, did you tell um, his username how you feel? And I was like, no, I'm not right now. And I went and I messaged him and I was like, um, I like you <laughs> or something like that. Or I have a crush on you or it was something like that. And my mom found it and grandma. <laughs> and my mom, she didn't really get mad, but I couldn't um, play Roblox for a long time, but grandma, she was like screaming. <laughs> so yeah, ever since um, I haven't had online friends. <laughs> I'm able to have online friends, but I just don't trust people because I have very bad yeah. trust issues. Because like one of my cousins, I was with London and she had put this thing in it's the a chat. chat message. Oh yeah, and then, so she had left the group chat and then this random lady, called London. And then she was like, why did you send to the group chat? Why did you do this? Why, why? You know, that stuff like that. And then and I was so like crying. Like, and then Dylan, my younger sister, she was like, said something, something She weird. said like, um, your booty head or something like that. And it infuriated her. We was like, and then she, we hung up and she kept calling and calling. Yeah. So we gave the phone to grandma. And then the lady was like, um, can I get the phone to an adult because um, you sound like a child? And she got mad. She got mad. And she was like, she told me, she was like, well, this lady better not play with me because I'm going to go down to Chicago with y'all and beat this lady up. <laughs> and then we were just looking at each other like, what? And then ever since then, like, I don't, like, I be looking at events and stuff. And, like, I feel like, like somebody's going to pop out. But, like, ever since then, I just like don't trust anybody. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust anybody. Like if it's a chain message, because we didn't do nothing and nothing happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they sent the chain message and there was like a story about a girl that was probably fake. Yeah. Um, my apologies if it's real, but it freaked us out and um, we what did we do? We were just we were just like, 
Remember we were just crying on the couch because we were scared? And yeah. while grandma was on the balcony. And then, <laughs> she was going off. And then she gave the phone to my dad because it was really funny. Yeah. Okay. And um, her dad was like, you okay? You're all right. Because we didn't, we didn't do nothing except um, fall for the train message and get scared. Like, also ever since that day, I've never believe chain messages send this to 20 people or the same thing will happen to you like what happened to a random girl or send this to 40 people or you'll turn ugly in seven days <laughs> i don't believe any of them anymore so i'm also gonna use um the brazilian bum bum cream i know it's pronounced boom boom and i've said this so many times i'm not calling it boom boom <laughs> two more left you can re-ask the questions that I asked you that I didn't answer, like my favorite net show. What is something that you like about each other and one thing you hate about each other? Okay, so let's stop this video. Or do you want to keep it? Let's keep it. I love it, it's just so cute. I love, there's so many things I can say about um, what I love about her. I love her silliness and her swag. And hate, I don't think I hate anything. Maybe, maybe the fact that she, yeah, I know, I know what it is. I hate the fact that she falls asleep. Every time we try to like stay up late or do an all nighter, she always goes to sleep. And once she falls asleep, there's no waking her up. I've like punched her, kicked her, shook her, <laughs> um, yelled, and she will not wake up. Like, we could be getting robbed and she would be knocked out. <laughs> but yeah, she's been doing that since forever. And I'll always just be like, how does one sleep this deep? <laughs> so something that I like about Lyndon is that she's like a role model to a lot of other people and like inspiring other people. And something that I hate about her is how she's scared to text somebody <laughs> and respond to them fast or too slow. <laughs> That's something that it's like a pet peeve. It's one of my pet peeves. Yeah, I'd be like asking her what to She'd say. Like, oh my God, what do I say, Taylor? What do I say? <laughs> and it's kind of like, I'm just looking at her, like giving her the side eye. <laughs> I'd be overthinking for no reason. Okay, so I think I'm done with my skincare, so we can just like YouTube messages. Okay. What curly brand do you use on your hair? And, and can you... Show us it, please, and what is your favorite thing about God? Oh, okay. Basically, so, what brand do you use for your hair, and do you like God? I'll put it on the screen. I don't remember the name, but that's the shampoo and conditioner I use. I use the um, Cantu Mousse. I don't really use like a curly hair product. I just put um, this brown gel and this skin serum, this conditioner, and yeah, I'm still looking for products to use on my hair because it's a mess. Um, the next part of the question, what is your favorite thing about God? My favorite thing about God is how he works and how he works in people's favor. There's like an endless amount of things I could say. How he gives you clarity, how he always forgives you and loves you no matter what. Sometimes I be feeling bad about my actions, but when I look to God, I know that everything's gonna be okay. Describe your style in three words. Bougie, preppy, but I don't think I dress preppy. Street, for like a lot of my events that I go to. I just put the lotion on, but I'm still gonna add this for my hands. That was black. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. I need to get me some more of this stuff. I wonder if you could put this on your face. I don't like, I don't really put stuff that says for my hair on my face because yeah, yeah, yeah. it might break my face out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I made the mistake when I was like 10. I put this on my face thinking it was cleansing and my face woke out very bad. Oh, I had this like off brand, you know those like serums you get in um, like um, kid packages? Yeah. I put it like all over my face and my face immediately started burning. And I think that was the start to my acne. I probably wouldn't have as much acne now if I had never did that. Everything's happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, but everything happens for a reason, right? 
So I'm done with my skincare. Me too. So now we can just finish off the questions. Okay, so to finish off the YouTube questions. Man, it was so oily, bro. Can you mm -hmm. Okay. So, so oh, and also since it's the nighttime, I'm gonna show you guys my Dior lash primer. I use this in my 8 p.m. night routine video and I still use it sometimes. I kind of stopped using it because okay, so. it's, it's so hard to get off in the morning. Like I'd be scrubbing Bruh. for days. <laughs> okay, go. Okay, so we have like five more. Are you excited for seventh grade? <gasps> um, yes. I'm excited because I want to meet new people in seventh grade and I can't wait to, you know. Usually, um, all of the good stuff happens in seventh grade, so I can't wait. Okay. Are you ready for sixth grade? Yes. Okay. What's your favorite color? Purple. My favorite color is pastel yellow. Mmm. Um, somebody said, when is the house slash room tour coming? Um, I'm gonna do a room tour once I finish adding new stuff to it. Hopefully before summertime. And y'all see my room tour on my YouTube, but I'm gonna start posting like during summertime, maybe like two or three videos during spring. Mm -hmm. But, cause I still have to prepare myself for school and all that other stuff. Okay, I'm done. Um, and do you get allowance and how much is it? London Taylor, what is London's personality? Oh, so I get allowance every Thursday and it's $15. I get allowance every Friday and it's $50. Okay. <laughs> London's personality is like, she's funny, she's kind, she's caring. She's like someone you can joke with all the time. Yeah, that's basically it. Aww. Okay, how close are y'all? We're like this. Wait. We're like that. Ever since um, we were babies, we've always just been like each other's favorite. We can like tell each other about literally anything. Do we go to the same school? Mm. No. Because Sadly. Yeah. She goes to um, a different school in Chicago and I live in Georgia so we don't but hopefully next year when I'm in seventh grade and she's in six we'll be going to the same school and we could hopefully do school vlogs together yes um and then how often do you see each other probably like I'm gonna say three or four times a year but really? these last these last two years we only saw each other like well in 2020, we saw each other like a lot. Yeah, yeah, like, before the pandemic, we yeah, saw each other. a very lot. But in 2021, we saw each other like, I think three or two times. Yeah. It's one of those, but this year, I hope, hopefully I can see her uh, very often. Yeah. But not like too often, cause I wanna stay home too. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna see my friends and stuff. Uh huh. But next year, or maybe when I go to sixth grade, I really want to go to her school. I just don't like my school. It's like, it has Me a lot of drama and stuff. We both don't like our schools, but I think if we and are in the same school. I think we'll be better. Yeah. We can talk about school. We can do homework together. Yes. Yeah. And we'll, we'll have more to talk about since we'll be at the same school. Yeah. I just did the little gua sha thing. Lastly, I know I'm still finding stuff to do, but Taylor just got this um, Touchland Power Mist. Um, I got the same one actually, but I left it in the car. So yeah, thanks Taylor for letting me borrow that. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Taylor, what do you like to do in your free time? What I like to do in my free time? Um, I like to go over somebody's house. Um, I have a lot of friends who live very close to me, so I could just walk to their house. I barely have any free time, but when I do have it, I use that to just be on my phone or I've been trying to journal more but I barely have time for that. So yeah. Are you on spring break yet? Yes, this is why I'm here. I'm on spring break. She's not on spring break yet, so she's gonna be at school. Her school ends at five o'clock and by the time it's five o'clock she will have five, six, seven and she goes to sleep at eight. So we will have only three hours to see each other. You're leaving this Saturday. Yeah. She might not go to school 
tomorrow. Yeah, because it's like nine o'clock right now, so. I'm gonna try to um, manage my time better so that me and Taylor could spend more time. Cause usually if they weren't here, I would be at home doing homework, eat, shower, bed. Cause we still have to do activities and stuff and I can't. We haven't been doing a lot while I'm here. Yeah. We have only been here. Okay. So I'll only be here for four days? Dang. Yeah. But not even four days, like. Today makes four days. Yeah. Um, what's your most embarrassing story? My most embarrassing story, it don't make fun of me, but it was in like pre-K. So I had a mean, I used to go to a balleri ballerina class, whatever you call it, ballet. Um, and she, we would only get to go to the bathroom once, but I, I drank a lot of water. So <laughs> usually I'll go to, I would try to sneak and go to the bathroom before ballet class, but I always get caught. So like if I go to the bathroom and I get caught, um, I would like, that's the only time I could use the bathroom. But this one time I couldn't hold it anymore. Like I really couldn't hold it. So we were just sitting on the floor against the wall. <laughs> I was in the corner because <laughs> I didn't have like first guess I was on. But then I was like, I have to go, I have to go. And she was like, well, you should have did it. Well, you should have did it during class. And then I just peed on myself. <laughs> No guys. Okay, okay. So I had a crush on this boy named Lucas. <laughs> and we were at recess and he was on the swings and somebody was sitting next to him. And I was walking with his friend. I was friends with his friend for some reason. And I was walking and someone got off of the swing next to him. So I was like, oh, swing. And then I ran. I started... <laughs> I started running towards the swing and I tripped on a big log <laughs> and I fell on my face right in front of him and his friend was like <laughs> his friend was like are you okay and it was so embarrassing <laughs> and then I wrote a letter to him <laughs> and I was like um, I don't know if you saw me fall. Um, <laughs> I forgot what it said, but it said something like, I don't think I was apologizing for falling. <laughs> but it was like, um, I don't know if you saw me fall. That was super embarrassing, <laughs> but blah, 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 blah. I don't remember what I said. And in the corner, I wrote, I like you. <laughs> and his girl best friend, he had a girl best friend. His name, I mean... <laughs> Her name was Lily, and she was like stinking. <laughs> but for real, and she she used to bully me, but she told him that it said I like her in the corner because he didn't notice at first. And then, yeah. Okay, it's probably gonna be the last question. Okay. I can't do it. <laughs> what is your favorite shoe brand? Converse, New Balance, Ooh, and I yeah. Can. She got a good shoe taste. Probably the same ones as her, I gotta say. And what is the biggest lie you've ever told? I had a mansion. <laughs> I said that, I think in third grade, trying to make this girl mad, because she kept on talking about how poor I was. <laughs> she was walking with her mom, and she, you know, she saw me come in my house with my backpack, and I felt so embarrassed. I don't really know. What was your favorite and least favorite subject? My favorite is math, my least favorite is social studies. Yeah. My favorite? is probably reading and my least favorite is math what why the reason why i like reading is because she makes her reading fun but my math teacher her classroom is very boring we have to get her some led lights and a rug for her classroom but but i don't know why she can't get it on her because she just doesn't get paid enough <laughs> what's your favorite food mine is filipino rice um where do you like to shop for your clothes okay so my ipad just died and this is now our third device in this video, but we're about to end it anyway. So she was saying um, the places she shops at for clothes. Um, Target, Forever 21, and like probably, I know this might be weird, but I get some of my shit from Hot Topic, but I will have my mom get them. What's your favorite emoji? Mine is probably this one. Mine is probably like the one in the hand and the heart. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is, I don't know how to say it, it's like Grand Deluxe or something like that. It's like Cheesecake Factory. 
but like fancy. Mm. Mine is probably P.F. Chang's or any seafood restaurant. If we didn't get to your question, I'm sorry. We will definitely be doing more Q&As like this in the future. And maybe we'll personally answer your question verbally. Not verbally, but kinesthetically. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to her channel, and turn on my post notifications. I love you guys, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.